DC here. Hi guys. Okay, now um, I'm going to be very zealous today and I'm going to actually uh, post a second response to Spooky University's 13th topic uh, Nature or Nurture or the other way around. Now, why am I uh, posting a second response? Well, the reason is actually quite simple. I, I found a, a few uh, little tales which uh, I find go actually very very well with this topic and I would like to share them with you. Now uh, I'm afraid actually that I can't find the references for the moment from where they come from. I'm sorry about that. If anybody uh, knows them or has um, seen them somewhere else uh, please tell me and then I'll, I'll add them actually somehow to the, uh, to the credits. Um, now uh, Having said that, I mean, uh, I will read these uh, two tales and I will not comment on them because I find that they're self explanatory and you will see actually that they fit in very well with the topic. And I think actually that they are quite complementary in a way to everybody's videos because in the meantime I looked at most of them and uh, realized that we seem to say, I think, up to now more or less all the same thing, maybe in different ways, of course. and uh, with better examples, some at least a lot better than Heinz, but uh, yeah, I think we're on the same line of thought. Okay, so first tale uh, that I'm going to read, I think uh, if I remember correctly, nevertheless comes from African lore. It's called The Scorpion and the Turtle. A scorpion, being a very poor swimmer, asked a turtle to carry him on his back across a river. Are you mad? explained the turtle. You'll sting me while I'm swimming and I'll drown. My dear turtle, laughed the scorpion, if I were to sting you, you would drown and I would go down with you. Now where is the logic in that? Ah, you're right, cried the turtle. Hop on! The scorpion climbed aboard and halfway across the river gave the turtle a mighty sting. As they both sank to the bottom, the turtle resignedly said, Do you mind if I ask you to do something? You said there'd be no logic in your stinging me. Well, why did you do it? It has nothing to do with logic, the drowning scorpion sadly replied. It's just my character. Story one. Now, the second story is from American Indian lore, and maybe actually even Canadian Indian, because um, I, if I recall, this could be from Chief Dan George. Uh, if it's not, it's anyway from, taken from some American Indian site where I, I actually took a few stories. Now. The story goes, it's called Wolves. One evening, an old Cherokee told his grandson about a battle that was going on inside himself. He said, My son, it is between two wolves. One is evil, anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority and ego. The other is good, joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion and faith. The grandson thought about it for a minute and then asked his grandfather, which wolf wins? The old Cherokee simply replied, the one I feed. DC signing off. Take care.